Welcome to today's Raven Report. Um, this is our fourth show of the year. My name is Hudson Miles, and this is my co-host. Ozzy Wilson. Um, probably still going to be a train wreck, but a better train wreck. Yeah. Our first story is the top five Oreos. The number one Oreo is regular double stuffed. The number two Oreo is the Thin Mints Cream. The number three Oreo is the Holiday Specials. The number four Oreo is the Mega Stuff. And the number five Oreo is just the normal original Oreo. And that's my top five list Oreos. If you disagree, I don't care. <laughs> Sucks. Go get your own Oreos. Yeah, for real. Yeah. Hudson, can you give me some Oreos? I, actually, I do have them on me. That you have after Oreos. show. Yeah, yeah, I All do. All right. Um, well, this week was Spirit Week. Uh, Monday was Pajama Day. Tuesday was Adam Sandler Day. Wednesday, today, is Formal Day. Thursday will be Dynamic Duo Day. Um, here is a picture of oh, Joe nice. and Liam. Oh, wait, wrong side. There we go. Here's a picture of Joe and Liam last year. Um, good job, guys. Um, they, they did a Rocked good job. It. Brought the sauce. Friday will, <laughs> will be Bring Anything But a Backpack Day. Um, yeah, remember that kid who brought a raccoon trap? I personally do not, I'm not gonna lie, but yeah, no, that's me, crazy. Me neither. It's like <laughs> though. Um, it, it, the fact that they brought a raccoon trap is. I do remember the microwave though. Someone brought a microwave. Didn't you bring an Xbox? Yeah, I brought an Xbox box. And then someone brought a PS5 box. That's Kaylee. Did you fight him? No, I don't really care that much. I'm not going to lie. Should have um, And then Brooke bought a shopping cart, which Brooke? is against the rules, but it's Brooke, so who cares? Exactly. Brooke slays. Um, <laughs> our, Raven <laughs> Report, our Raven Report has a new logo. It has been up, uh, redesigned with the intention to recognize that one in five students have dyslexia. Um, so we used the open dyslexic font that is free and um, you can use on your computer. And we redesigned with some flair. While the logo designed the full graphics package, it hasn't been rendered yet. So stay tuned to see it soon. There's a picture of it, but yeah. It hasn't been rendered. Yeah. October 26th is National Pumpkin Day, which celebrates a uh, favored autumnal decoration and food. Um, do you like pumpkins? I, I ate like, it. I ate pumpkin bread. That was good. Yeah, that was a Shout out Olivia Frizzell um, for making pumpkin bread. Um, I really appreciate it. Thank you, Olivia. I'm looking at it right now. She She's not in shot, but she's right over there. Come Don't hither. Come Delicious hither. pumpkin bread. Come, come hither with your pumpkin bread. Thank you, Olivia. <laughs> All right. Get ready, iTech. Students for much. Get ready, iTech, for October 31st, Halloween. It is costume day. During both lunches, there will be a costume contest during the last 10 minutes of lunch. Um, I'm going to be going as Chop Top from Texas Chainsaw Massacre 2. That's crazy. He's hilarious. I'm going to be at I home love taking Chop care Top. of dogs. Um, uh, yeah. These dogs. <laughs> <laughs> No, I'm just, I actually have dogs. <laughs> Looking at the weather for next week, we can re expect rain. Be careful when driving um, or bringing your costumes to not damage them. If it's cardboard or anything that rain will uh, damage, be careful. Put a tarp November over November 1st. It. Oh, sorry. <laughs> it's okay. November 1st is Dia de los Muertos. Uh, the day of the dead. What? Chad, I'm so sorry. I am so sorry, Chad. Chad's also here. He's over there. Hi. But I cannot speak Spanish. I'm sorry, Chad. I failed you. Um, it is a time to remember those who have left us. Um, 
and it said that spirits return. I'm sorry, I, I don't know the culture that well, but why are you? You want to come explain it? Come here. Yeah, if you want to come explain it, you can come explain it, Chad. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Uh, it's a traditional Mexican holiday that celebrates the dead. They usually have feasts with uh, parades and sugar skulls and decorations. Oh, yeah. And bread. Bread. Nice bread. The they bread make is nice good. Bread. The bread is amazing. Yeah. All right. Well, time for a segment. This we have is... uh, Griffin interviewing people about last week's homecoming. Two weeks ago? Last week? Uh, I, I personally didn't go, but some, I had to respond. Sometime in the past. <laughs> so how did you feel the dance went? Oh, yeah. I mean, I had a lot of fun, but I was just hanging out with my friend the whole time. There weren't a lot of activities. No, so you think there should have been more activities? I think there should have been more activities. It was just kind of two hours of standing around. What was your favorite part? That's really hard. I think my favorite part was when Santi tried to kick the uh, kick a balloon and then ended up falling flat on his back. He did like the uh, the you know like in, uh, in, in Snoopy when Charlie Brown kicks the ball and he just did like a full flip and lands on his back. Mm. He basically did that one without the full flip. He just landed on his back. It was really funny. It was really fun. Uh, what was your favorite part? The music. And they played really good music. It felt very uh, disco-y. I thought the dance was very fun. Uh, I was one of the event organizers. Oh yeah, you were. Yeah. So how did that feel to be an organizer? It felt really nice because you get to see all your work like pay off and have a good time. Do you think other people enjoyed it? From what I've heard from my friends, a lot of people enjoyed it. All right, Tyler the Creator is gonna play Jesus in Big Mouth. <laughs> Matt. And this show is uh, for appropriate, yeah. mature audiences only. I would like to mention the show is not for people who don't like childish humor or also um, people who are too young. It is a mature show. The Tyler, the creator, is going to play Jesus in it, and that's going to be funny. All right. <laughs> On October 29th, three iTech robotics teams will be attending their first robotics uh, competitions at another school. The teams are 3249U, 3249P, and 3249G. Make sure to cheer them on before the big day. They could to be honest, been. I don't know any of those teams, but good job to you guys. How did they, like, not come up with more? What's it called? They're supposed to have numbers. Robotics, they have the, it's like a set number each year. That's kind of um, dumb. Yeah, so, I wish you could do, like, a set name. Yeah, like... Like, instead of, like, random numbers, because I feel like there's not a lot of pizzazz there. You can, though. Oh, well, our Griffin, our teleprompter, who's actually one, on one of the teams, um, says you can, though. I, mean, why I, don't, I, don't know why you guys, I don't know why you guys didn't. We <laughs> did. Oh, well. Oh. So it looks like they have two team names. Crazy. Well, BZ Farms and Pumpkin Pan Patch. Uh, patch. Uh, <laughs> is having a Harvest Festival. The Harvest Festival is happening Thursday through Sunday, 1 p.m. to 6 p.m. Thursday and Friday, uh, 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. The pumpkins are around $16 per pumpkin. Come to BZ Farms and Harvest to get your own pumpkins. The Portland Trailblazers are somehow having a great start to the <laughs> NBA season. <laughs> <laughs> that despite having a horrible s season last year, under new coach Chauncey Billups, but have now have beaten all team four, bleh, playing the powerhouse Phoenix Suns, LA Lakers, Denver Nuggets, and the Sacramento Kings. Oh, they beat the Lakers? They beat the Lakers? They beat the Lakers? I thought the Trailblazers kind of sucked. Wow. I, I thought that was yeah. the whole thing, no. was that they sucked. I, <laughs> like, I really thought the Trailblazers were, mm, okay. Um, there's a new, wait, Apex, oh god, oh god, there's a new Apex Legends character, and it hurts, wait, 
It says it hurts to watch the trailers. Oh, it hurts to watch the trailers. If you don't want to die inside, don't watch it. Come down. Wednesdays starting this week for Video Game Club in room uh, 214, I think. We're at 405. Um, bring quarters for Austin's Minecraft Java Arcade Machine. <laughs> Story 14. Um, this, uh, you're going to have to get to the, yeah, uh, there we go. No, wrong way. There we go. Uh, this thing is the, is going to be our logo. And essentially it's a ongoing art project where you know, just kind of come in and doodle whatever, nothing inappropriate though. Um, because we don't want anything inappropriate on it. But you can come in, you can draw, you can color on it, and it is our Raven Report logo, essentially, the physical copy. But... Sorry. <laughs> um, I think that's all that we have for the stories today. Thank you for watching the Raven Report. Have a fantabulous weekend. Um, have fun. It's Wednesday. You can still have a fantabulous week. Have a fantabulous Friday.